in this video we are going to solve question number second of exercise 7.2 the question says you have to find the coordinate of the points of trisection of the line segment joining 4 and minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 3 so here we are given two points and the coordinate of these two are 4 and minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 3. Now you have to find the coordinates of the point of trisection of this line. Means, trisection means you have to divide this line into three equal parts. Okay, then only this line will be trisected. Okay, so let's divide this line into three equal parts. Let's say this is the first point P and this is the second point Q and these two points are the trisection for this line. Okay, now consider the coordinate of P as x1 by 1 and the coordinate of Q as x2 by 2. Now I have to find the coordinate for these two points. Now one thing is important here, if I am saying this is a line and this is the midpoint for this means this part and this part are equal that means if this part is 1 this part must also be 1 so the here the ratio between these two parts must be equal similarly here there is another part same in length so again here also this part must be equal to 1 or you can say if these three parts are equal then the ratio of all three parts must be equal here. Now for this point if this complete one is 1 so obviously this complete one must be 2 here. Okay so the ratio between this point and this point if considered as 1 so obviously the corresponding ratio between this point and this point must be 2. Okay, now then only uh, this point will trisect this line. Now one thing is important here. If you want to find the coordinate for this point P, again I have to use section formula. And my section formula was that these two points are x1, y1 and this point is x2, y2 and this is the point P dividing this line in some ratio let's say m is to n then if I have to find the coordinate for this it will be equals to for this I have to multiply diagonally and because I am finding x so I have to multiply m with x so it should be x2 then you have to multiply this with this so it should be m x1 and in the denominator it should be m plus n and similarly if I have to find the value of y again I have to multiply diagonally but this time you have to multiply this with y and in the denominator it should be m plus n so this is our section formula and you have to learn this then only you, you can apply this formula in any of the questions. Now for this I have to find the coordinate of this point which is x1 for that I have to multiply diagonally so I have to multiply this with this because here our m is 1 and our n is 2 so I have to find the coordinate for x for that case I have to multiply m with x2 so here our x2 is minus 2 so 1 multiplied by minus 2 plus now I have to multiply n with x 1 so our n is 2 <laughs> sorry our n is 2 and our x1 is 4 so it should be 2 multiplied by 4 and in the denominator it should be m plus n that is 1 plus 2 okay now for the solving this, it should be minus 2 
it should be 8 and in the denominator it should be 3 further solving this this will be 6 and further solving this it should be 2 ok plus minus is minus 8 minus 2 is 6 sign will be positive because greater value has positive sign and then I cancel this out so 6 divided by 3 it, be, it can be cancelled out 2 times now I have to find out the, ratio, uh, the coordinate for y2 again I have to use this formula I have to multiply m with y2 so m is 1 and r y2 is minus 3 and plus then n multiplied by y1 r n is 2 and that is multiplied by x y1 that is minus 1 so here are y1 is minus 1 and in the denominator it should be m plus n further solving this this will be minus 3 this will be minus 2 and there should be 3 so here the coordinate should be minus 3 minus 5 upon 3 so for this point the coordinates are 2 and minus 5 upon 3 now from here there are two methods for solving further now I have to find the coordinate of this point if I have to use section formula this the same formula what I can do I can consider this ratio as 1 and this ratio as 2 and again using the same formula I can find the coordinate of this point or I know this point coordinate of this are 2 and minus 5 upon 3 which we have just solved and this point is minus 2 and minus 3 and I have to find the coordinate of midpoint I have to find the coordinate of this midpoint for these two points so instead of using this section formula what I can do I can use the midpoint formula ok and what is midpoint formula if I consider this as x1 and y1 and this as x2 and y2 now I have to find the coordinate of any point which is the midpoint for this line so to find the coordinate of this point so x will be equals to I have to add these two so it should be x1 plus x2 upon 2 and similarly if I have to find the coordinate for y it should be y1 plus y2 upon 2 so these two are formula we get us the answer for this question now here I have to find the coordinate for x2 so using mid point formula ok now to find the midpoint formula to find x coordinate I have to add these two values and divided by 2 and further solving this it should be 2 minus 2 upon 2 that is 0 upon 2 that is 0 and if I have to find the coordinate of y2 it should be to find the coordinate of y2 I have to add these two values so minus 3 minus 5 upon 3 and plus minus 3 ok and the denominator should be 2 now to solve this further I have to take the LCM so LCM of 3 and 1 will be 3 so it should be minus 5 and minus 9 whole upon 2 now further solving this 9 plus this is minus 14 upon 3 and this is the main upon so if I have to shift this so it will get reciprocal so this can be cancelled so the coordinate should be minus 7 upon 3 so for this point the coordinate must be 0 and minus 7 upon 3 so this is how you can solve this one first of all you must learn this section formula and then you can also learn this midpoint formula I, I think this is easy so you can learn this one and you can find the answer for this particular one thank you